Okay, now the sort of formula that gives people the most trouble. And I think the, the problem people have with this is they look at this and they don't see what the main connective is. What is the main connective? In fact, it's the dash out here on the front. It's not the arrow. The dash is the only thing that's completely outside parentheses. Notice, if we connect the parentheses, we see that that's together and that's together. And now there's another level of parentheses, and that's combining everything, just like that. So the dash is the only thing outside. Now, let me get rid of that mess that I just made there. Okay. Um, so this dash outside is going to be the last thing that we work on. With that in mind, let's ignore it and let's look inside that set of parentheses and ask, what's the main connective inside the parentheses? Well, in fact, it's the arrow. So what we need to do is get a value for this thing in front of the arrow and a value for this thing in front of the arrow so that we can work on this. Well, the main connective for this chunk right here is that dash right there. So we'll need to work inside these parentheses first. Main connective inside these parentheses is the wedge, so we'll work on the dash and then the wedge. And then we would come out and work on that dash right there. That'll all be fine. All right, so one, two, three. Let's see, we also need a value for this side. Main connective inside of here is the double arrow. So let's see, let's call that four. Double arrow would be five. This dash then would be six. Now, once we had all of that, then we could do the arrow as 7, and then the last step would be to come outside the parentheses and do that as, as 8. Um, you just really have to practice this a bit until you get comfortable with seeing what's going on when you've got uh, parentheses like this. But remember, you start as deep inside parentheses as possible and then build out from there. Okay, so we've got all our numbers in place. Um, when I look at dash s wedge t, um, obviously I need a value for dash s, so let me just take the opposite of s. What I will get is false, true, false, true. Now I need a value for the wedge. I don't have anything for t. Probably the best thing to do at this point is go ahead and write in the guide column for t. True, true, false, false. You could just say, well, let me combine t and the let me combine this dash s column and this t column in my head and go straight for the wedge. But I think most people are do better if they go ahead and put something in there for t so it's it's right here when they're comparing these things. The wedge is true whenever either part, either input is true, so false wedge true gives us true. True wedge true gives us true. False wedge false, that's false, true wedge false, that's true cross out the stuff that we just used. Next step is this dash, so that negates what we just created. So we're going to get false, false, true, false. Cross that thing off. And now, let's see, we're supposed to work on this side. All right, so we start with dash t, which of course is false, false, true, true. And now we need a value for s, double arrow that. So again, I think the best thing to do is go ahead and write in the value for s. You could do it in your head, but it doesn't it's not really that hard to write this stuff in. So true double arrow false is false. Because what's the rule for the double arrow? True when same. False double arrow false is true. True double arrow true is true. False double arrow true is false. Cross out the stuff we just worked on. Step six says negate what's inside the parentheses. So we're going to get true, false, false, true. Cross that off. It's time for step seven, which is the arrow. And what are we comparing? This to this. Arrow is true except when you have that thing. So false arrow true is true. False arrow false. True, true arrow false, false, false arrow true, true. Cross those things off. That's a true. Okay, so we now have the main connective for everything inside the parentheses. 
that's right here and the final step is to negate it with this dash so that will give us false false true false and we circle it because that is the main connective for this entire formula did I mention this was exciting oh, no it's not at all exciting it's incredibly boring um, and a little practice will certainly convince you of that. Good luck with the studying.